Welcome back, my friends, to Nerd Safari. I am your Mustang nerd, Simon, and this is a crossover episode between two of my favorite things, movies and Ford Mustangs. Now, this one here is my baby. This is my 2002 Mustang GT convertible known as the New Edge. And although a lot of people love these cars for their sleek lines and their aggressive stance, they're not seen in many movies. So I figured let's talk about my top three New Edge Mustang movie moments. So before we even start, we've got to recognize the Steve McQueen movie, Bullet. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Simon, that movie was made in 1968, long before the New Edge Mustang was created. Why is that even relevant? Well, in 2001, Ford recognized the ongoing popularity of the Bullet Mustang and created the 2001 Bullet Mustang GT with more classic cues and more horsepower than the current model. And damn, that was a pretty car. You probably don't remember the TV show Team Knight Rider from 1997, and for good reason. It was terrible and super cheesy. It did, however, feature a 1997 SVT Cobra called Domino, with one of the worst personalities that you've seen on any Knight Rider series. But just in order to see a 97 SVT Cobra on the big screen, I think we can forgive a dysfunctional personality. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise, and when I looked into it, I was shocked to find that there has only ever been one appearance of a New Edge Mustang in that series. All right, let's see what this thing can do. In this case, it was the Too Fast, Too Furious movie, and turned out to be a Celine S281 SC Mustang. <laughs> You would be forgiven for missing it because it gets unceremoniously crushed by a giant semi-truck. Ouch. My favorite New Edge Mustang starring role is also an S281 Celine in the movie Hollywood Homicide. I'm sure Detective Gavlin is next door right now, maintaining complete professional integrity. And you know it. Hollywood Homicide. Now this movie stars the unlikely pairing of Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett as a couple of detectives in, you guessed it, Hollywood but it also provides the starring role for this Celine S281 as the hero's car, and is also one of the only times that you will see a New Edge Mustang in a fully-fledged car chase on the big screen. After filming Wrapped, this car was bought by the Barris Motor Car Company who put it up for auction. And you may be shocked to find out, as I was, that this beautiful Celine Mustang that had been graced by the butts of not only Harrison Ford but Josh Hartnett sold for just $20,000. Somebody got a serious bargain. Trying to kill me! Go! Idiot! Go ahead! So that's it from me. Those are my top three moments of New Edge Ford Mustangs in the movies. We will be back with more movie trivia, more Mustang news very, very soon. Peace out, my friends. <laughs>
Shut up and sit down.